Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Confluence tutorial, we will learn how you can report the Jira project information into the Confluence pages. Now, many organizations work Jira and Confluence together. And when you're, work, when you're using Jira and Confluence together, it makes a lot of sense to display the report information of the Jira project into Confluence so that on the Confluence page itself or a sing, on a single page, of the project you can get all the reporting information about the project so because of the tight integration of jira and confluence this is all possible and let's understand how you can achieve it so the first thing that you have to do is within the jira project say for example i'm part of this project a and i'm the scrum master of this particular project so there are a couple of you know stories that need to be built as part of a particular sprint right so say for example I will simply create a sprint okay quickly so that we can see how this information can be displayed into your confluence page okay and as a scrum master I have started the sprint I have added some of the items so based on the team discussion and now let's start the sprint okay so once the sprint will start I'll just mention a custom duration which will take it you know two weeks um, and then just click on start once this sprint is started say for example i want the information of this particular project how many issues are there the reports of this project to be displayed on the confluence page now within jira as well you have the reports that you can do but it makes a lot of sense when you can have all the report and all the project related information on one of the confluence page uh, confluence page so let's see how you can do it. So this was the space that was connected to this particular uh, space so mapping. So I've just added a link. And uh, if I'll go to that particular project a space, which which was which is basically the space that we had mapped to this particular project, right? So usually a project will have a space a corresponding space in Confluence where will you will have all the documentation. Now within this particular uh, space, say for example, within the page so you can have a particular page so i can have say for example let me create a new page in this particular space here and i will name it as a reports page okay so i can simply get all the information from the jira project whatever i need into this particular page all right so once i create this particular reports page the next thing is we can add the reporting macros that are available in the confluence to pull the information from jira and display here okay so to add the macro you can either use this drop down here and go to view more and here you will see that these are some of the reports that i can directly use on any of the page in the confluence okay so say for example i want to add a pie chart okay so i'll just maybe search for the pie chart and click on the pie chart and here I can use a quick filter right so I can create a filter in Jira and I can search for that filter say for example I want to display all the issues and get the issues of project a here so I can go to the Jira and I can create a filter right so I'll go to the advanced issue search let's quickly create a filter now for this particular project if I want to create the filter so I'll simply say project is equal to project a right let's search for all the issues that are there in this particular project a so this particular filter will give me the result of all the issues in this particular project okay now i can simply save it right so click on this save as and i will say project a all issues so this will be the name of the filter click on submit and this filter will get saved right so if you'll see that this has been starred here so project a all issues and now this query is saved here now if i go here let me cancel it so either you can select this pie chart from this drop down go to view more and select accordingly or the shortcut is just say slash forward slash and just say pie right start with the pie and pie chart will come select that it will open the same window here now on this particular preview i will simply start typing in the filter name so project a so you'll see it as soon as i'll start typing in the project it will display the filters the projects etc okay so we have created a filter so let's select the filter and i can choose the statistic type so i'll choose the status 
I want to see the status of all the issues in the pie chart. Refresh interval, if you want to get this pie chart refreshed automatically every 15 minutes or 30 minutes, choose that accordingly. If you do not want the refresh to happen automatically, select never and click on save. So once you will save, you will see that the status pie chart will appear. If you are happy with that, click on save and this pie chart will be available here in your Confluence page. Okay, so you can go wide, you can have a different view accordingly or you can go to back to center to delete. You simply have to click on this little icon remove here to edit. Just click on this pencil icon. So this is basically how you will add the macros, the reporting macros within Jira. And there are so many reporting macros um, uh, within Confluence, sorry, not Jira. So within Confluence, you can use the Jira reporting macros and report the information that is there in the Jira project on the Confluence page, right? So this is the new page that we created and we can use any reports or the, or the gadgets that are available here. So I'll simply go to view more again and I'll show you other macros that are available, right? So assigned to me or the roadmaps. So there are many. So depending on what you need, you can go ahead and choose it and display that information on the Confluence page. All right. So that's one way of it. Once you are happy, you can click on publish. And once you will publish that this particular page will be published and it will be having the report information for this particular on this particular page. OK, so this page is available here. The other way to get or display the Jira information is say, for example, I click on so on the pages. OK, so in this particular space, in this project a space, I click on create. So it will create a page and instead of creating a blank page for us, we can go to templates and we can select the template, right? So we simply search for the report. Okay. And click on this Jira report, right? So click on Jira report. This is a template that is available by default in the confluence and I can directly use this status report. Okay. So click on the status report and click on next choose the project that you want to look for so say for example project a is what we are looking for i'll select that particular project i do not want any specific fixed version so i'll leave it blank and then the title right so i will simply say project a report because that particular page already exists so that's why it's showing me this particular message now project a report is available so I can use that particular name and click on create. Once you'll create this particular page, this will automatically because this is a template, it will automatically create a well defined, well structured report page within Confluence with the name that you have provided there with the date issues, the total issues that are there in the project and some of the information report summary information already there, right? So overall status pie chart will already be added the Jira chart priority component based on the component. If there is any issue type, it will list you all the default reports that are part of this particular template. Now, if you'll notice clearly, if you'll just click on these, you know, um, charts here, you will see these are nothing but the macro, right? So if you click, you can edit these and you can change the details of these macros accordingly. OK, so the same thing that we have done by creating a blank page and adding the macros as required on the report page, this will do the same thing. But it's sort of predefined page that you can use to create the report. And once you will publish, you will see that this particular report page has been created here. So project a report and it will display all the report pie charts that were there as part of this particular template for the project with all the information here. Now customizing this report is up to you based on the information or based on the requirement within your project, but it is highly flexible and within Confluence, you can get all the information that you need from Jira and display it in the report page within Confluence. And this is the page that you can share with all the stakeholders within your project. And this is will be the source of truth for the actual progress of your project. So that's very convenient and handy when you have one piece of information or report to share across that will get automatically updated and will have the latest information available for all the stakeholders. All right. So very, very nice feature. Go ahead and use it. It will be really helpful for your project. So that's all about how you can display the Jira project information into the Confluence pages. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.